A really good game too. Alright, here we go. Waffle semi-finals doesn't get much better than this. Umpire holds the ball a lot and we're about to get underway. Holes and low about to do battle. A little bit skew with from the start and handy climax for this one. Drop and builder there for Hollis with his hands on the ball early, but about to get out of the way. A little bit of silly business going on in the middle. Umpire says nothing doing. Tap gets taken out, well done. Pickering managed to do that there. Spills around pressure on around the contest, nothing going. Umpire's letting this one go on, clever the finals, and he's just gonna call that one back. So, got the Cats. King it now, it's the second time we've seen that. And that's what he does, he gets under their skin, uh, he's an in and under type player, but he's a bit of a barometer for him, so interesting to see how he goes. That's Mackay. I saw him do that throughout the season last year, and good to see it's still part of the character. Kicked long, looking in the red snuff direction, can't quite find it there. Picked up quickly off the hands, it's Fife. Now around the corner, good kick away there by Burroughs. Cheng fails to find the target, ball spills around the top of the half forward flank. Cats diving in on it. A little bit of a scrimmage. The umpire will ball that up again. That cat's kicking the left-hand side of your screen. Two sides just feeling each other out at the moment, Jack. Yep, uh, uh, certainly a lot to play for today, but as I said, it'll be a bit of a chess game early on, and uh, we'll just see how it all sorts to unfold, but it'll be scrappy until the game sorts to open up. Of course, I think you would think Broadbeach would be looking to try and move the ball quick, get it down to Moncrief as quick as they can with a bit of open space, so quick play. So ball flung in again. Hollis oh, is trying to work the body there. Well done by Pickering to get the tap away. And the umpire's picked a free kick out of this. It's a hold. It's going the Tigers' way. Ball in the hands of Dylan Fife. Takes advantage, plays on, runs around on to the left. This will be the perfect start for the Tigers. Steered at the left-hand side through for a minor score. Labrador hitting the board first, one behind. Cats get the score. Just two minutes gone in this first semi-final. Cats bring the ball in. It's a long kick out towards the members' wing. Of the the pack set themselves, no one can take a mark, punch to the front of the ground, catch, move on to the ball quickly, here's a chance here for Mackay, he gets tackled strongly, he stands in the tackle, a quick handball out, the umpire says it's a trip, and he'll pick up his uh, second kick for the day. Holding the ball mid-wing, looking for someone up forward, he drives it long into the forward line, he's got a player to be in front, right now, good strong mark there to uh, Hanley, Hanley off one step, chips the ball in front, looking for Red Slap, and he's got the mark, is that him? It's a good mark, he's taking it about... 25, 30, 30 metres out from goal on a straight angle, and Red Slap will line up for a goal for the Tigers. Certainly been a great player here for the Tigers over a long period of time. Former, obviously, Brisbane Lions uh, player, but um, certainly in front of the home crowd, he'd be looking to uh, try and kick the first one for the Tigers. Well, such a dangerous combination, too, with Hanley putting it down his throat. That's a combination they want to see the two former Brisbane Lions players teaming up. So Red Slap from the pocket. It's a tight angle, a bit of breeze blowing. And he strikes it very true. Tigers get the first one of the afternoon and watch him get around him. And there's a little bit of a tussle on the pocket as well. Searle dragged off the ball. Try and focus on the game, but when half the players have spilled into the pocket, just feeling each other out at the moment. Emotion's always high in these big games, especially early on. Getting that first one to get up and about gets, it, gets them going. But, you know, still a lot of game to be played just yet. Is it wrong the part of me thought Alex Mackay would be in the middle of that? But I'd have to check and know he's in the middle of the ground, so... Just looking at that replay now, it's a beautiful shot on goal. Uh, coming right through, a lovely kick for goal and uh, puts the Tigers first on the board. That's the confidence boost they need. It's Pickering and Hollis prepared to do battle again. 1-1-7 Labrador, Broadbeach yet to hit the scorers. Four minutes gone first term. Ball slammed in the centre of the turf. Pickering gets a tap down, it's all Tigers at the form of the ball, a little wobbly punt goes forward. Searle manages to mop it up, gets hands over the top. Picked up there by Jellyman Turner, Kicks short to the wing. Picked up nicely there, spots up Jackson Fisher, wastes no time, rolls around the right, it's about to be cleaned up. Saw it coming just in time, he manages to spot up Riley Winter. So Winter gets going with the right, kicking into the breeze, swung around a bit. Looks for the 1-2 combination, Jasper and Moncrief. Tigers do well, plenty of numbers around the footy. It's all the hospital handball up in the air. Everyone tries to get a tap down. Cats first hands the ball. Quarterbacks it out to Jellyman Turner. Rolls around onto the right, but it's all Tigers at home. Spills through the hands, a little bit of a chaos ball. Now they're looking dangerous. Hands back. 
Does well to work his way out of the tackle there, does Jaden Young in game 100. And that will be seen over line boundary throw in about 35 metres out from the Broad Beach goal. Really good tackle pressure there by the Cats. Uh, made, it tight, made it tough for the Tigers to try and get a good ball cleared from. Here we go, Young Pickering to do the ruck. Ball comes in, up they go. Just punched in forward. Here's a good quick, quick check, pick, pick up there by Fisher, but he gets tackled heavily. And the umpire says, You've dropped the footy, and it'll be a free kick to the Tigers through uh, Bobby Young there in the back line. No. I don't think it is him. Always quick to pay those ones when they take the player on, especially in finals footy. Off he goes. Left foot down the line. Pack set himself. Rest left there. Can't get the mark. Ball spills free. Cats get their hands on the ball. Another quick handball out. And they're going to make some time and space as, as um, Jellyman gets the ball and he feeds the ball back and the Cats will reset from uh, the back line. Go inside on the 45. Cut, finds him and there's another mark there for Jellyman Turner. He handballs over the top and drives a long ball into the forward line. Here's a chance for the Cats. Got the front position, punched away there. Well done there by the Tigers. And the ball's going to be in there trying to be a contested footy, trying to fight their way through. Good, strong tackle there by, I think that was McMahon. And the umpire says, I'll have it, Nick. He's wrapped up about five touches already, gentlemen, Turner, across the half-back line. So looking very dangerous. The Cats just able to get a little bit more free space for the ball as the tap goes down. Picked up out of the pack there by Matthew Lee. Gets the hands back, kicks long to the wing in no one in particular. Cats first the ball. Now they'll call for deliberate here with a bit of a sense of humour. Oh, he's called it! Well, they're not mucking around here at the umpires today. I was wondering who he was kicking to in the first place. So... Alba set up across the half back line again, finds Eulen. Beach opting to go down the line now. He's got a man over the back, caught in the wrong position. There was Jesse Travellini. Hands back Ryan Gilmore, looks back in board. This is dangerous now. It's a good setup by Broadbeach. He's got a runner he wants him, just turns his man now, does Eulen. Eulen runs to about 60 metres, drilling footy towards the goal line. Can he find his target? Ooh. He just can't. Outstretch arms of Tyra and Armitage couldn't get there in time. And first score for this afternoon for Broadbeach. Just the minor. Broadbeach one behind, trailing the Tigers 1-1-7. One, one, seven, seven minutes gone, first term. Of course, young Eulen, a young academy boy from Broadbeach. You go to the Tigers, I bring the ball out there. And as he looks there to find, um, tra uh, that is uh, Tragolini. Tragolini just chips the ball across and will pick up Kenny. Young Kenny holds the ball in front of the... Labrador coaching box. Is he looking to go in or is he going to go down the line? Anderson gives him the lead. Now he kicks it up along the line. There's three, three cats there, but no one can take the mark. Ball spills over the back there. Pushed away strongly there was by Ma. And the umpire says you pushed him in the back. And it'll be a free kick there going to Taylor. Taylor looking inboard. Eyes darting around. Just shoots it across. Cats to reset in the back line. This is taken away there by uh, Arnold. Arnold. Handball's inboard. Here's a chance now for Chadwick. Chadwick in hands over the top and the cats are out. Going inside forward 50. Looking for a lead and he's found him on the mark. Great hit there. And he's found the uh, cats player about 35, 40 metres out from goal. It looks like it is um, Tyrone Armitage who's um, had a pretty good season this year. The cats just look so dangerous when sitting up across that half back line. The same in control, trusting their process, not rushing. But as soon as they get that opportunity to run and gun, They've already taken it. The space that's opened up across the top of the 50 has already looked very concerning for Coach Nick Mountcheski. And now Armitage kicking from about 40 metres. Let's go with the left. Quite going to make the distance. Going to spill forward. And eventually tumbled over the line for a second minor score. Two rush behinds for the Cats so far. They trail Labrador at 1-1-7. Nine minutes gone at first term here at Cook Murphy Oval. Tigers bring the ball in, no one can tap, but good, big, strong spoil there by the Cats. They go inboard again, here's a chance to kick away there by Welsh. He drives along into the goal square. Moncrease puts a good spoil on from behind. Here's a chance to pick up the snap for goal. It goes high, high, high and handsome, but not handsome enough. One behind. That's the Broad Beats Cats third. And just the Cats really do are uh, setting up well from behind. They're not all rushing to the contest. They're keeping numbers back so they can feed out and go forward. I've noticed the Tigers over committing, so kick short finds Tommy Simpson. Breaking down from midfield. 15 goals this season for Simpson. So working a long way from home. Spots up Dylan Fife. Gets the old one-two. Simpson. Right foot down the wing, but chopped off there by the by Braden Taylor. Now watch the Cats also go through the middle. Called to play on by the umpire now, so he just has to get going with the right. Puts it up to the danger zone. Moncrief's down there, spills through the hands. Tigers, good numbers at the fall of the ball. 
cleaned up nicely there by Thomas Reeves. Now the Tigers under a bit of pressure, backing back with a flight is Matthew Lee, but he had time. And he just says, come at me, I need an option. Doesn't have one now, so he's gonna be called to play on. He does, he just has to hit and hope. Down to center wing, Pat flies and punched over the line. So the Cats half backs doing really well to keep the pressure on the Tigers midfield and really just pushing up the ground. Yeah, the big men just trying to make contests and they're really up to the smaller men to get in and under there and try and kick it their team's way. I'm about to throw the ball in. Beautiful throw, up they go. Tap forward, here's a chance, now we can get the ball. Cats to dive on the ball, that's a good hard ball get there by Gilmore. Um, and now the Tigers are back, got their hands back on it, but he's all wrapped up there, he's not going to be able to get that ball out. So a good strong tackle there by Fisher, and the umpire will throw the ball up there for um, them. So Charles Ford in and under, umpire throws it up. Again, tap out there by Goldsmith. Here's a chance now for the Tigers, they need to feed back to go forward. Lovely good little pick up and kick away there by Lee. Ball spills free. Here's a chance now again for uh, Ford. Ford feeds, handballs over the top. Now he's got Ma. Ma's under pressure again. Handballs back and then the Tigers will get the ball feeding across. Again, here's a chance again for Simpson. Drives forward into the floor but there's no one there except the Cats and they'll like, clear the ball over the line and out of bounds. Harry Arnold seeing across the line. All is doing great work as a journalist for Channel 7. So now Labrador a long time defensive 50, their chance to capitalise. The Cats have really been coming. The ball flung back in, vision obscured by the light post. The kick around the corner is going to come. It's Pierce Hanley, and the Irishman gets it done. Hard to be sure. Well, after all that pressure, down 50, Broadbeach unable to convert. First time it goes back forward. You can't leave Hanley unchecked at the back of the pack like that, and he kicks a second for the Tigers for the afternoon, 2-1-13. Broadbeach just the three behinds, 10 point ball game, 12 minutes gone at first term. And it was scrappy, but I really hurt the cats on the counter there, Jack. Yeah, and look, it was great work, you, and you called it as well. If you have a look at the replay, the ball being thrown, then it's Hanley unopposed, just at the back there. And the coach O'Brien for the cats will not be happy with that, and an unchecked goal, and he puts the. Uh, so the Tigers go to 13, leading three, 12 and a minute mark of the first term. That wind just picking up a little bit outside, 10 point ball game. Change the ruck, Hollis has gone out. It's Goldsmith's gone in. Figuring seems to have at least a height advantage. Hollis using the body really well, but I think they need to combat him aerially. They even split on that one there as the ball spills around, but now the Tigers can escape out the side of the pack and just puts on the worm burners, including a nice little step there, driving little Murray. He spots up Ford. Ford goes along the square, kicks and go over the top. Will it bounce through? No. Through for a minor score. Labrador 2 2 14. Broadbeach, three behinds. Great work there by Tagalini, driving the ball forward and giving Ford a chance at goal. Cats have brought the ball back in, but it's already been ricocheted back into the Ford 50. Here's a chance now to try and drive the ball for the Tigers. It's a handball there. Big lows there trying to uh, get the footy out. Lower, sorry. And uh, the umpire says he will uh, throw it up. It's gone out of bounds, is it? Yep. Just going out of bounds. Yep. Ball in, Labrador forward line. Yeah, 35 metres out. Goldsmith gets a tap away. They're looking dangerous down here, the Tigers. Cats have numbers. Ball spills around. Euland manages to get a little kick away. Keeps the pressure on. Just spilled through the hands from Pickering, the big man. And now it's been stolen out the side of the pack. Five just goes to the top. Hot spot. Where's this going to drop? Marked on the line, I believe. Yes, it has been. Jeez, a little dangerous. Got caught up in the wind. Cats managed to escape. Ball in the hands of Maloney. Maloney called to play on now. Kick short of the pocket. He's got two men there. And he's going to require both of them. And that's a win for the Tigers. Ball actually stays in. A little fight behind the line. Umpire's going to have a look at that one. No boundary throw in. So good forward pressure there from Labrador. Yeah. Be really interesting here for the uh, let's see if they will mark up a bit better at the at the stoppage because this is what uh, Coach O'Brien will be wanting to see. Got Simpson at the back there, he's being picked up. Also Luke lurking dangerously is Burroughs Chungs. Here's a chance now for the Cats. Straight through they go and it's Furl on the quick left foot kick out of there. Here's a chance for, as we said, Burroughs Chungs gets the ball, goes in board, and now the Tigers will go through 
Can easy drives it, smothered off the foot, and the catch will try and clear the ball. And they're out now, and away they go with Harrington. He takes a bounce through the middle of the ground, and he and it takes a second bounce. Who's he got out there? He's no looking, one home. He's kicked out wide, and he's found a teammate in work in Moncrief who worked hard up the ground. Moncrief, he goes down the line in front of the scoreboard, and the cats have the ball. We'll be about just on the 50. They go inboard, and that's good. Good build up there by the cats there, Nick. Yeah, they did that very nicely. I just know it was home, so it just had to. Just stop and prop for a little bit. Good little 45 lead coming out there. He's low. And he's going to go long with the right. Can't quite make the distance. Goes to the hotspot. Big fly from the back of the pack. And that was a strong mark taken there by Jake Goldsmith, pushing all the way down for the ruck. Goldsmith, and he's got two men over the top here. He's a little bit sloppy from the Cats not to man up. Simpson's been busy early. It's out wide, finds Ford on the far wing, and he can just go for a trot. Kicks to a one-on-one, -on -one. ball might fall to the back of the pack, but a good, strong mark. It's Arnold kicking back in the middle of the ground. The Cats have numbers, if they want to give and go, they do. Two Tigers applying the pressure. A little bit of a kick around the corner in the Moncrief direction. Big slap down in front of the face, nothing called. Play on Tigers now at the numbers. Just pushing hard off the side of the wing. The mark is taken on the chest there by Travellini. Now, a bit of acting <laughs> going on there, but I didn't fall for it though. Darcy Irwin. Tried to pull up the ball over the umpire's eyes, nothing doing. And a good spearing ball finds Thomas Marr. And Mega goes forward, top of 50, big fly over the top. Spill off the hands. Taylor managed to get first mitts to it. And the umpire says, I'll have that, thank you very much. 16 and a half minutes gone, first term at Cook Murphy Oval, wherever you're watching, live streaming. All watching on NITV, a big hello to you from South East Queensland. Hope you're staying safe. Very exciting contest we've got here. First semi final, one versus two. Labrador finish on top of the ladder. And at the moment, they're starting to play like it. Kick long to the top of the forward line. Two players just dive on top of each other. And the umpire says no. no. Free kick, in fact, he's pulled it out of there. So dive on the ball, no attempt to get it out. Catch footy. Catch to bring the ball out. 16th coming approaching the 70 minute mark first term and they drive the ball along out in front of the uh, members here. The pack fly, no one can take the mark. It spills out the back, the cats are out. And there's a long, nice kick down the line. Moncrief's there, he can't take the mark. Good spall away there by uh, the Tigers. They've got names here. Here's a chance here from McKay. He kicks the ball along, gets pushed as he kicked and it'll be a free kick down the field. And he obviously gets into them, but they, they sort of falling for it. So it's a two, two or three free kicks he's picked up already today. Here's a chance, Ford. He finds Simpson, the dangerous Simpson. He's looked good already. He steps his player. Now he's going to give himself onto the right foot, but he's overkicked it. Oh, it's been a drop mark there by the Cats. They won't like that. He didn't spill the ball, but he did get tackled without it. No, the umpire says you have dropped the footy, and it's going to be a free kick to the Tigers inside forward 50. Gee, a little bit tough there, but... Um... Red Slap will line up for his second. Uh, I thought the, build, the ball spilled free, but uh, anyway, the umpire's seen what he's seen, and Red Slap will line up to try and put the Tigers, so we'll put them 16 points in front if he can kick this one. Let's have a look at the replay. Yep, the umpire said, gone. So here we go. The most important takeaway out of that is the Tigers' forward pressure there, just yes. not giving them a single opportunity to escape, but now Red Slap can make him pay. Red Slap coming in, a nice deliberate approach. The umpire doesn't really move, and he's kicked his second, and he's up and about. And the Tigers move two, two, I think that's, th yep, three, three, 19. Oh, sorry, or three, two, 20. Three, two, 20, sorry, leading the Cats, north three, three. So the Tigers have made most of their opportunities, haven't they? As they a, really have. The Cats have had plenty of the footy, but the Tigers have kicked their goals going forward. Well, uh, the Cats have looked a far bit better coming off the half-back line. They were in the first five mm. minutes, very centred, very in control of the footy, but there's always been a bit of chaos caused by the Tigers. You look at someone like McCoy, who's earned himself three free kicks just for being a bit of a pest, and you love to see it, but that's what they require from him when he's out there. And just those little things, they can get under the skin of a composed side. So right now, Labrador are absolutely taking advantage. A 17-point ball game here at Cook Murphy Oval. This ball goes up, drops Pickering. Goldsmith comes in over the top, wins the tap. Big fresh area out of the pack, nearly took Mackay's face off. Mackay goes again, you love to see the second efforts. Wrapped up in a tackle, that was strong there for Michael Selsby. Play on, says the umpire, a bit of a sling behind play. Nothing seen there. Just goes the fresh area, you talk about pressure that's there. Was there an arm over the shoulder, just managed to drop it a little bit. 
Cops a bit of treatment afterwards, but did well to earn the free kick. Now Broadbeach off and running. Oh, have they mucked this one up? No, they've committed numbers well. And now they're out. Here we go. Driving in line will be Gilmore. Gilmore runs to 50. Sees an open square, but he just didn't pick the right club there. And over the line for another minor score. Four behind Broadbeach. Trail Labrador 3 at 2 at 20. Nearly 20 minutes gone first term as Young in game 100 kicks the footy out. Good play there. Great build up there by Broadbeach, but again, just didn't quite finish the way they wanted. Tragolini for the Tigers. Onto the left foot. He goes through the middle of the ground, but it just misses his mark. Here's a chance for Searle. Onto the left foot. Look, he's usually a beautiful kick. The ball spills free. Here's a chance for Burroughs Chung. Um, but uh, the Cats are on it really quickly. It's a high kick, and it's a good, strong mark there. Eyes on the footy. Gutsy little mark. And here's a chance for the Cats for the kick there first for a lot of uh, a, a good reward for their effort as we think. I think that might be Harrington. Cody Harrington's got the footy. Uh, we'd be about 30 metres out from goal on a, on a, uh, on a side angle. Yeah, courageous stuff there by Harrington, running back in the flight there. But that's what they needed. And it all started with that Josh Searle. Little chaos ball inside forward 50. Didn't quite have a target in mind, but just the end over end kick. Managed to create enough pressure for the Tigers. And now the Cats surely can get their first of the afternoon. Harrington, deliberate shot. Umpire says that's the first for the Cats for the day. I'll take that one straight through the middle. And the Cats get their first through young Cody Harrington. And uh, that's a great, a great effort. So uh, Coach O'Brien will be happy with that to see that they uh, had some good bit to build up, as I said, but to miss out on some opportunities for them. But that was a really good goal there by Harrington. Well, they've been winning the inside 50 count for most of the quarter at Broadbeach and uh, that's what it takes, maybe a little bit of chaos. We've seen Moncrief have to push up so high to try and win the footy. They can't be too Moncrief centric, the Cats, as they go forward. So maybe we need to see a little bit more out of the likes of Sammy Jasper or at least they've created their chances and it took the skipper Josh Searle oodles of experience to get them going. So now 10 point ball game. Five scoring shots apiece, but Labrador a lot more efficient. So Hollis back in the ruck now, just misses the tap there. We're going to have another ball up in the dry centre of the ground. Good crowd in today, Cook Murphy Oval, up here in Labrador, northern end of the Gold Coast. Two traditional rivals going at it. Very strong footy here on the Gold Coast is Mackay. No free kick this time. He just adjusts the long hair. Always works really well to catch the umpire's <laughs> attention, doesn't it, Jack? It was a chance for the toll. It looks like he's been grabbed by the umpire. Says you played for that one. He threw the head and, back there. <laughs> and Chadwick was all over him, not playing for that one again. Like a scuba diver going <laughs> off the side of a boat. He's in danger of knocking himself out, Mackay. Umpire to throw the ball up. Here we go. Pickering. Hollis. All of three Tigers get front spotted. This time it's in the back. He's puts himself in that position. And he's been, he's been busy. Mackay will get another centre clearance. Hang on a second. No. Yep. No, he didn't. He's won no, three it. already, so I think you just expect it was going to be his. So Fife will get the ball in the middle of the ground, the left footer. He kicks the ball, He's looking for a teammate that no one can take a mark. Spills out the back. Here's a chance here for the Tigers. He got an open space, gets on the left foot, has a quick shot for goal, but it's offline and through for one point. So quick ball movement there. Uh, the ball went over the back there and the Tigers quick to swoop on it. 21 plays, 10, 23 minute mark, first term. The big final here at Cook Murphy Oval. Well, most of the time the Tigers have gone forward, they've caught Broadbeach napping. It's a little counter-attack, so just when they haven't set up their defence properly. Big fly over the back of the pack came from Riley Winter, wasn't pulled down. Now, he's got a man forward to Jackson Fisher, just puts up a high speculator, fly comes from the back. Little chaos ball now to Chadwick. He's got to get dangerous, Chadwick does well to grab it a second time. He's got a man running off the bench there, it's taken on the chest there by Armitage. No one stands the mark, so Armitage is just going to get going. It's going to look a little bit longer, he's got hands now. Here comes the run from Nick Burton. Burton, he's got a man inside Ford 50 and he'll get him out in front. Uncontested, good lead coming out. And great counter-attack there by Broadbeach. And now the chance to bring the margin under a goal. And it'll be Sam Jasper, that man we just talked about. He's kicked 27 for the season. Works very well in tandem with Jordy Moncrief. And now Jasper, a chance to pull this game back Broadbeach's way. Kicking from about. 35, 40 metres, Moncrief for the right football. Goal umpire's running, and that's never a great sign. So 1 5 now, Broadbeach. So, really good composure by Blake Erickson there. He found um, Tyron Armitage on the lead, and the, on the uh, lead, he came off the bench there and nailed his kick inside. So, the, the Cats will be disappointed that they missed that opportunity. 1 5. 
There's a chance now for the oh, it's a drop mark. He took spin before he got it. Now he feeds handball. It lands at the ground though. It's a high kick. And again, just a little bit of pressure. Drop mark, handball to the feet, and then the kick out of bounds from the full. So uh, Coach Molchewski will not like that part. So the Tigers just need to not get, let them get back into the game. Yeah, you can just feel the pressure's going up a little bit. Broadbeach, that structure that we saw earlier is starting to come back through is Jellyman Turner, who is very dangerous in the first five minutes, gets the ball going forward, doesn't quite hit a target. Tigers have to be good here. He took on the tackler. There did Lee Osborne. But luckily the ball spills out. They've got a man behind, just spills through the hands at there of Charlie Lang. Now forced to regroup, regroup and regather. And here comes a run, can't quite get his own bounce back in Offerman's. And now he's going to be set upon. But we didn't have the footy there in that moment, but comes back through and makes good does Offerman's. It's gone up a notch. Yes, it has indeed. And now they've found a bit of space. Hamble doesn't quite hit the target. Going to have to work very hard now. It's Braden Taylor, but he does well. Just tries to beat his man there. Does Tom Simpson. Hands through, running through is Pierce Hanley. He's got to get dangerous. He's been quiet for the last five. And the Cats can just slow it down. Takes on the man along the line and kick forward to centre wing. The big body's going to come through. Moncrief pushing high up the ground and kicks that man now. Jasper, the foot race is on. Jasper pumping those little legs. And that's a good tackle. Got him just as he had the footies to not to give away the free kick. It's a classic one-on-one -on, -one on the forward pocket. Now the cavalry arrives. It's been locked up under the footy. Umpire's going to make a call here. He's got a sense of theatre. And he just got caught underneath the footy there to Jasper. Worked so hard to get down there. Sorry, Tyro and Armitage. I'll be calling him Jasper. My, <laughs> my apologies no. to the Armitage family. And well done there by Max Lower to win that free kick. Here's a chance down there. Go pick in the youngster. Can't take the mark. The ball spills free. Here's a chance now for uh, Lang. And the umpire says it's a high hit. And it'll be a free kick to Lang. And a bit of mouth. And there's a, another, just a little bit of discipline. Yeah, uh, 26 I mean, minutes in. That's like, an absolute coach killer. Here's a chance now for the Tigers to go forward again through uh, Lang. He's got a 50. He's right on the uh, true half forward flank area. He drives a drop punt, goes out into the pockets, but he's got a free man there, and it's a good strong mark there by the Tigers through. That looks like it's Anderson. Anderson's kicked 23 goals this year, so uh, he's a noted goal kicker, but he'll have his work to do outside. We'll be nearly around about the 50, but he'll kick it from about 50. Very loose checking there by the Broad Beach defence as well. I knew that 50 was coming down. And it let Cooper get, Cooper Anderson get free. Anderson comes in, goes on a bit of an arc, and he's, oh. he's ran to where he's oh kicked it. <laughs> that's where his body was heading, and that's where the ball went. So out of bounds on the full. Cats can reset. 27 and a half minute mark, first term. They look like they're going to go switch across the face of the goals, and away they go. They've got time and space. Nice little hit up, and now the Cats are out. They're just holding the play up there. Again, down the line. Good play there. Harrington. Harrington's off. Oh, again, the handball to the ground. That'll put themselves under pressure, and then the Tigers quickly swoop on the ball, sitting over the top of it. The umpire says, I'll have the ball. So just those basic little fundamentals just coming to bite a couple of uh, passages of play between the two teams. So deep in a red time now in this first term of this first semi-final 1v2 here at Cook Murphy Oval. Labrador leading by 10 points. Working hard around the contest. Michael Selby. Diving in, hands chattering across the footy. Umpire says holding the ball. The Cats did well there. Now, looking for the man on the 45 inboard. It's got to be strong here, Yulin. Can't quite take it. And that's quarter time. So, well, a bit of back and forth this first term. It's getting a little bit heated there, too. Andy Hollis, the Ruckman. Coming up for a little chat with Brody Eulen. Nothing doing. A little bit of push and shove. Of course, Mackay's in there. So it's 10 points.